thanks for stopping by my channel today i want to welcome you here if this is your very first time and if you are returning welcome back i'm so glad you all hit that play button today all right if you're new and diys is your type of content go ahead and consider joining the family because this is exactly what we bring over here this is one of the things okay so as you've seen in the title i am creating some beauty salon signs okay i am a hairstylist and a makeup artist and a wig designer so i incorporate all three of those things in my space in the salon so what we have today everything i do believe is from the dollar tree that we're going to be using today and um yeah that's what we're going to do we have these signs right here and these were some of the um valentine's decor and i love the fact that they have the lips and that screams to me makeup because i'm a makeup artist and these signs are going to be easy simple but we're going to take this little pink sign and we're going to make it high in okay just simple just very very simple and so what i'm going to do i'm going to take the cord out i'm going to add a little spackling to it in the holes to cover up and i'm going to paint this sign black okay now i'm not going to paint the back i'm just going to paint one side because it's going to be up against the wall and there's no need for the sign to be painted front and back now if i was doing this sign for someone i would go ahead and paint the front and the back but because it's mine we're not going to worry about it and so i'm going to take the cord out because i don't want those two holes right there we're going to hang it and, and add a, um some jute twine to the back so i don't want it hanging on the wall like this i want to be able to see the full house and the little chimney on the wall so we're going to paint this side because i want the chimney to be to the right instead of the left they are the exact same on both sides so it's really up to you but i'm going to only paint the front so we're going to get this painted and then we'll come back and bring it put it all together okay so keep on watching okay so this is the lightweight spackling that you can get at the dollar tree by the two bench hardware brand it's paintable in minutes won't shrink or crack no sanding required spreads easily water cleanup fills cracks and holes in one step so i just like to take me a little bit and get it on my finger and you get a lot in here so this will last you for a while because you don't really need much and just to fill that hole up So the sign is painted and completely dried on one side and we're going to go ahead and finish it up and we're going to use these poster stickers here. You get 56 of them. It says make your messages pop. Poster stickers. You get these from the Dollar Tree and these are colorable so you don't have to leave them in the white. You can color them and that's what I love about these letters and you get um you know a decent amount to spell out what you need to spell out and then you get some good old exclamation points and i love that and uh you get some a period and you get the two colons so yeah we're gonna go ahead and get this assembled so just keep on watching we're gonna do both of them on camera we're gonna let it ride keep on watching y'all forgot to mention that i'm gonna be using some Mod Podge. You can pick Mod Podge. This size bottle, this is a two fluid ounce bottle from the Dollar Tree. My, and this is in the matte finish. It's a water-based sealer, glue, and finish. Love using this stuff. So we're going to uh, apply it 
all over the sign, basically. That's what we're going to do. We're going to put it all over the sign with a sponge brush from the Dollar Tree. This is going to help the seal the color in, make it more vibrant, as well as uh, allow the letters to stick and stay. Okay? Because these are going to be up in the wall and it gets warm in there sometimes because of blow dryers and my electric stove, you know, things like of that nature. So we want them to stay nice on the wall. So keep them watching. for our next DIY I have the foam the ready board from the Dollar Tree and I also have these beautiful signs right here from the Dollar Tree as well this one says everything with love and has the makeup brushes and I just love that and then this one has the compact of maybe blush or lipstick or whatever and then a tube of lipstick and what we're going to do is we're going to um combine the board with the, the wall art. But what I'm gonna do is cut out some pieces to make the, the picture be bigger because this is a small size and I like it, but I want the picture to look bigger. So we're gonna add the um, foam board to the back. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna, the foam board, I've had it for a little while, and it's looking a little scruffy so I'm gonna definitely paint it white and so it uh, will 
stand out more or I may paint it black. I think I'm, I'm going to either paint it white or I'm going to paint it black around the edges of it. So when I get ready to um, apply it to the board, it looks, you know, really, really nice. It looks high end. Okay. So if you're interested in seeing what I come up with, I will show the painting of this on the camera so that you all will see and understand exactly what I'm doing. Okay. So keep on watching. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we have some even measurements for these boards here. Okay, and we want to make sure that we cut them properly as well. So I have this ruler here, you know, you can get this at Dollar Tree as well. And what I'm going to do, I just want to make sure I'm using the good pieces of this board and making sure I'm leaving enough space um, around them because I'm trying to make the board bigger. I'm trying to use the best side of the board. Okay, so I measured out two inches all the way around, above and on the sides and beneath, around the actual canvas pitch. So it would look bigger and look like this, okay? So because I have that one square cut out and you wanna use a sharp edge, that's why I use a utility knife so that you can get it as sharp and clean as possible. Now. What I'm going to do is use this other one as a guide to cut out the other one. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I'll do that off camera and then we'll come back and, and do the painting. More, all right, so you can measure just how large you want it, your size to be. That depends on you. Okay, so make sure you put your cutting board down on your surface so you're not scratching up your surface. And now I can just cut from here and now I all I have to do now is just cut three sides okay so keep on watching okay now it's time to paint the canvases and what we're going to do is just paint around the edges we can leave the middle out because we're covering the middle up okay so what i'm going to do is just add a little bit of uh paint and begin painting
So this is what you want your canvas to look like. You want to leave the middle blank. You don't have to waste the paint because you're covering that part up, okay? So it doesn't have to be perfect. It can be tacky because, like I said, you're covering that up. So we're going to go ahead and get the other one painted, and then we'll come back and put it together. Finish these up. This, they have dried, and they look pretty decent. You want to make sure you get a nice, clean edge when you're cutting. My utility knife wasn't coming out all the way, so it did give me kind of a jagged-ish it didn't cut like I wanted it to cut, but we're not going to worry about that. We're going to go with it, baby, because it's going to be on the wall. And, oh, listen, okay, we're going to go ahead and do this. And, again, these are the canvases, and we're just going to glue them in the middle. And we're going to use some hot glue, and we're going to um, add a little jute twine to the back so that it can be hung up, okay? And I don't want it to hang up where you can see the cord. I'm going to... Um, I'm going to put it across a little piece so that it can just kind of hang and drape, okay? So keep on watching. Final DIY, I have this uh, little plaque right here. It just says decor on the back, and I love how farmhouse it looks. It's already ready to go. You can paint it if you would like. Hey, whatever suits your fancy, but I'm going to keep it just like this. And what I'm going to do is simply take this little simple plaque and make it into something high end and make it personalized in my own. Again, we're styling the salon when we're styling um, this DIY style um, makeup. So, um, we're going to use these letters right here from Amazon. And um, we're going to spell out a saying. And we're going to also do a little embellishing with these. Um, DIY stickers from the Dollar Tree. You get 13 in the pack. And there were some hearts in here. And I used these already in something beautiful for Valentine's. Um, and then they have the lips. And so that's what I'm going for. And then they also have the roses. So I'm glad for all three because these roses are going to go great for Mother's Day. And it can be great for Valentine's as well. But I like the roses for Mother's Day. The lips for this lips is definitely kisses for valentine's and the hearts so this was really a great packet of these so i went on ahead and i painted them with the apple barrel tuscan red paint to kind of tie in with the color on the um the last diy of the um canvas paintings that i had got from the dollar tree that i used um, this color ties in with that. And so, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and get this finished. So keep on.
All right, all right, all right. This is the conclusion of this video. Tell me what you think in the comments about these DIYs. I took something simple, turn it into high end. We have the About Face Makeup Art Signs that's gonna go in the salon. All of these are gonna go in the salon. I just added that little open sign here in the picture just to give you an idea of exactly what I am going for here. I think it turned out super duper phenomenal, all of them. And these little signs right here, they turned out cute, adding the black background making it a larger and a bigger sign now if you like this video give me a big old thumbs up tell me what it is that you like about the video okay i want to hear from you also subscribe if, if this is your type of content i'm in love with this little picture y'all also this is the reason why i chose the lip color for these little lips because it ties right in with the other picture i am so in love with all the signs tell me which one is your favorite of all and i would have to say my favorite of all mm, i don't know it's hard to choose y'all but let me know down in the comments which one is your favorite because i am digging absolutely all of them I want to thank you all for stopping by. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell as well so you don't miss out. All those things helps my channel out. I'm going to catch y'all in my next video. Bye-bye.